under the MGNREG scheme, a large number of saplings were planted and tended by following the innovative watering technique suggested by Dr. K. Satyagopal IAS, Principal Secretary and Commissioner of Revenue Administration. From the visuals, it can be seen that the growth rate of the seedlings planted as per the new method is much higher when compared to that of the seedlings planted as per the conventional methods. It was also noted that the water required in this method is less than the conventional method. He has now brought out a few important changes to the watering technique to suit the requirement of fruit-bearing trees. In the 2 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet pit dug for planting the sapling, an additional hole of 1 foot depth is drilled using an auger. Depending on the type of the soil, if required, one or more holes may be drilled in the corners. If an auger is not available, a crowbar can be used for making the hole or holes. The hole is filled with one or two handfuls of sieved vermicompost or organic manure and then with river sand. Later, a PVC pipe with a 4-inch diameter may be placed above the holes as shown in the picture. Sieved vermicompost or organic manure is mixed with the dugout soil and three-fourths of the pit must be filled. Then a small pit must be made as shown. The pit is filled with two handfuls of unsieved vermicompost or organic manure and the sapling is planted. The pit must then be fully covered with the dugout soil. Now, two handfuls of sieved vermicompost or organic manure must be poured into the PVC pipe, which must then be filled with river sand or any other water absorbent material. Then the PVC pipe must be carefully removed. The sapling can then be watered, which will be taken to the root zone by the sand columns created. The modified guidelines are useful for fruit bearing trees, such as mango, goa, and other seedlings requiring more water. These plants may even need less water than what is used in drip irrigation since moisture will be retained in the root zone for longer periods. Further, while water stays on in the saucer in drip irrigation for long periods, in this new method, the water poured in the saucer soaks quickly up to 2-3 to three feet through the river sand, enabling the sapling to have a healthy growth in course of time. At the same time, as the root grows, the vermicompost or manure applied provides necessary nourishment to the growing sapling. Further, since the root zone is always moist, the sapling will have a lush and healthy growth.